okay y'all y'all gonna ride with me for a few minutes as I continue to do my errands uh, I just left the gym so that's why I look the way I look <laughs> but you know when it comes to self-love honey you got to love all versions of you okay you got to love the glammed version of you and you got to uh, love the this version of you okay so anyway um, I just wanted to come on here and just say really quickly how I was reflecting on the top of the year as to why I was missing for a while missing in action so um, it's important to work out not just for vanity reasons which was for the most part the main reason I was working out um, because, you know, we just want to look good and it's not about looking younger. We just want to continue to look like how we looked. As we age, we want to still look like ourselves. We don't want to look like some old person just came and just, you know, took over our body and our mind and our soul. Okay? Um, just because we're getting older doesn't mean we have to be old. Anyway, so I came on here to talk about working out and how important it is, not just for the vanity reasons, but honestly, you have to work out because you never know when you might get sick. So uh, I had got the COVID shots, both of them. I didn't get the booster, but I did get both shots when we were all in pandemic mode. So, you know, after the pandemic, everything started cooling down. And I got a little bit too comfortable. So I went on the East Coast and was visiting my um, my mom and my dad and my family, you know. And then my layover was in Boston. And when I was in Boston, there was a delay. So I wind up being in the Boston airport for five hours. Mind you, I got a five and a half hour flight to LA. So no mask, just all, you know, willy nilly free no mask sitting in you know boston airport for over five hours and you already know germs was just like oh okay show her to protect herself so let's do what we do and they did by the time i left boston got on my flight got to la got to lax had to take you know the shuttle to the parking lot where my car was by the time i got home i was wore out but I caught COVID and when I tell you I now understand how people passed away from COVID because it is no joke I walk and run easily five miles ten miles easily when I tell you I could not walk around the block it felt like <laughs> It felt like I was 99 years old. I could not walk around the block. I felt like I was going to pass out. When I was doing my laundry, I had to sit down to do my laundry. And I couldn't even get through the whole, you know, folding of it. I had to do it in stages. And I thought to myself, now what if I didn't work out at all? What if I didn't eat right at all? What if I wasn't healthy at all? This thing could have took me out because honestly i was kind of like all right uh because right after i got COVID, then my iron started acting up and they had wanted to give me a blood transfusion because they said if i was a car i basically was on e but we all know how customer service is lately it's horrible so i was feeling some type of way when they said a blood transfusion i'm like people don't like to work as is and they be cutting corners and lazy and people are just dirty there's people who still don't wash their hands after they use the bathroom after the pandemic there's people who still go to the gym don't wipe the gym equipment down before they get on or after so i'm thinking about all of that and i'm like you know what no ma'am pam i do not want a blood transfusion i would just rather try to build my blood back up so they gave me a b12 shot right away and then they got me on iron infusions and i didn't know about iron infusions do you know about iron infusions it's really cool they hook you up to an iv and it's just iron and it's directly into the bloodstream and you have to do i had to do i don't know um 
you would have to do, but I had to do five weeks in a row because like they said, I was basically on E. So I had to really build my iron up. So I ate everything that was, you know, iron, um, all the, you know, iron um, enriched foods and I did the iron infusions. And so I've, you know, slowly but surely got that. But baby, with COVID and the iron and, you know, and then with COVID, you know, there's no more money. So, you know, if you don't use your sick time, your vacation time, you, you know, you ain't got no income coming in. So I want to say for the top quarter of 2024, <laughs> I was like, Lord, is you calling me? I thought he was calling my number because I wasn't understanding how I was just healthy one minute and totally like, is it my time? So I just wanted to come on here and just say, honestly, work out, eat healthy as possible. Drink your water, try to walk. If you don't want to go to the gym, try to incorporate walking into, get it moving. Because if you get sick, God forbid, if you don't have any strength, any strong immunity system, it is no joke. And COVID is still out here showing out. You know, whether you vaccinated or not, COVID is showing out and other things. But seriously, just really think about, just really think about how you got to keep your health together because if you don't, honey, anything could take you out. So forget the vanity stuff. Yes, you want to look good, but you want to feel good and you want to, you want to survive. You want to survive any type of illness because you have some form of strength. That's what I wanted to say today. Uh, I'm going to come back with my story time, but I'm still doing my errands. So I might have to do story time tomorrow for Tattoo Man. If you didn't get a chance to see it, please, you know, check out the spot Tattoo Man. I want to Cleo for that. And uh, I beat Nike, y'all. It was the first time for television. I'm inducted to the Museum of Modern Arts, the MoMA. So again, I'm introducing myself to a lot of you because a lot of you have no clue who I am. And I'm reintroducing myself properly to some of you who do. And I'm just Charlotte. I like to create. I love the answer. I love to answer the question, what if? What if? What if? You know, I win this contest, Fab Over 40. What if I get into the contest? What if I save, you know, people from making, you know, more mistakes by sharing my hindsight? What if? I always just think about what if and just do it. And yes, I do it scared just like everybody else. And I, I'm nervous and I have my butterflies and I have my insecurities like everybody else. But I'm the type of person that I just... Ugh, I feel horrible if I don't try. Like, just try. They can't kill you. That's what I always say. Just try. They can't kill you. <laughs> That's what I have to say to myself. So when I try, I I do things, you know. Um, like I shared my story with how my novel, you know, came about. Out drinking with a group of girls. Said this was make, a, make for a good book. What if we do a book? Well, we did, got published, made history, opened the doors for other chick lit African-American authors, all because what if I did? So that's me, I'm a big what if girl. And so you're gonna see me just doing things and trying new things and sharing things with you in hopes that it helps you. I'm definitely gonna be sharing my hindsights to help your foresight because lord knows i had a lot of hindsights and sometimes i wish somebody would have shared their hindsight with me but <laughs> they always say be the change that you want to see so i'm going to end it here and uh, i'll see you later maybe i'll get myself put together but it is what it is